But first, in just two weeks, three people have been killed in separate accidents in the same construction zone on I-70. Thanks for joining us tonight for 7 News at 6. I'm Catherine Guyon. And I'm Steve Moore. Ohio County Sheriff Tom Howard says that one person in yesterday's multi-vehicle crash died from their injuries and another is still in critical condition. 7 News reporter Colin Roos is live with us and has a message from the Sheriff's Office for drivers and how they can help avoid any further tragedy. Colin. Steve, the state line between West Virginia and Pennsylvania is down to one lane in both directions on I-70. That means traffic is often at a near stop, which creates a dangerous situation if drivers are going fast and don't look up in time. Sheriff Howard says above anything else, they need you to slow down when driving through that zone. He says the westbound lane has seen the worst problems, but eastbound can, can, be, can become congested too. The department is also warning about the small rolls on the hills, which can make it difficult for drivers to see stop traffic until they're very close. He's also asking us to watch what's in our back seats. Loose objects in your vehicle, very dangerous. So to make sure everything is secure, the smallest thing can cause major injuries in a crash, in a sudden stop crash. So beware of that. Um, if belongings happen to move while you're driving, leave them move, leave them be. Sheriff Howard says you'll now see two police cruisers in the construction zone to make sure that we're all watching our speed. He says it's best to find an alternate route around I-70 if possible, since the work is expected to last a couple of years. Live in the 7 News studio, I'm Colin Roos, working for you.